Welcome back, J Fusion fans, to Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Yes, we're still at it. So, in the last video, we just defeated Death himself. And we also got a new soul that's going to be important to traverse the rest of the castle. I'm changing my weapon back to Grand first. There we go. We're good. Heads. So upon defeating death we have gained access to a new soul which is called oh okay so this is skula now skula is one of the souls in the game that you will have to retrieve no matter what in order to progress and in order to gain the 100 percent of souls so now we can go here so I just triggered that demon right there but we are actually going to this part we will uh, explore more of the castle later on but first we are going to have to access the next area this is more of a story progression you know now we can go two ways we can actually just teleport back to the first stage. Ow. Again, those yellow Medusa heads. Yeah. Or we can also do this. So now we are back to the castle's corridor. So it would have been much much easier to just teleport but uh, I don't mind. Well it does unlock a few areas on the map. And it also helps me add a few more experience points thanks to the Sherman's Ring. And all these small fry monsters at this point still give you a little bit of extra EXP. So, no harm there.
So I am going back to the very first part. I'm going back to the main entrance of the castle just to check up with uh, Mina and uh, also check the new items in the store. There's an, ex uh, there's an area accessible by traveling through water. Without scuba gear, it may be too tough for a human to handle. Okay, so we just got that soul. Now, Mina's advice can come in random. But for this one, she gave us the right advice just at the right time. Well, by the way, do you know Anikado? Mm, sort of. We tell a friend of yours, you're more popular than I thought. Don't much like people like that. Okay, so. <laughs> he doesn't like Arigato. So as for uh, Hammer Shop, I do believe that there are new weapons. Uh, so I guess uh, the best weapon he has right now is Ascalon. You can actually buy Ascalon if you want, but I recommend that you don't. So, Ascalon, Flame Sword of the Dragon Slayers. Now, again, it does give you a much needed boost in strength and attack power. And it does cost uh, $12,000, but really... Uh, you're much better off with the next weapon we're going to get and actually you know what that's gonna be the point of this video I am going to show you how to get probably the best weapon in the game although I do technically have it already but for the sake of uh, the gameplay I know it's uh, it can be found in many other playthroughs. You can watch other gameplays of Arya of Sorrow out there. But since I am making a playthrough myself, I do feel obliged to show you guys that secret. But anyway, it's all fun. It's all fun. that alone. <laughs> So this is part of the underground uh, reservoir. Always get that bag of $500 and beware of these imps. They're not much of a threat, but they're really, really annoying. Yeah, they're some of the most annoying uh, monsters in the game. Now, 
for this one, you're gonna have to equip the Undini so for a little bit so you can stand here and then use the platforms to go up and then double jump to this area and then you can re-equip the school soul once you get to that point. Go, we're going here to the right. Ah, damn it, poison. Good thing there's a save point, so save the game here. And there's a giant golem in this area. If you uh, if you did not get the giant golem soul during the boss fight with him in the dance. Hall. You can come here and uh, make him respawn until he drops his soul. So that's your best farming spot for uh, Big Golem. better for this part for the floating platform to come down so there there we go uh, you have to time it very carefully ah. and there Dryads have uh, very dangerous fruits. Now this area is going to be important. So you need to have the Undini soul equipped. And you can see this symbol right here. Now... You actually have a choice of souls to use 
here. So there's also another symbol right here. And there's actually one more way up in this very area. So what I'm going to do is change my blue soul from flying armor to a choice of either. So you have Devil, Manticore, and the Curly. Or actually the Kali if uh, I actually prefer, prefer to be called the Kali. But anyway, uh, so either of these souls, either of these three souls are perfect. So what I'm going to do is actually equip the Devil Soul. Again, you can also equip either the Manticore or the Curly Soul. So... Then get the Eversing. Ah, so there we go. There's also another symbol right here. So that's the Devil Soul. So from the other side of the area, you have the symbol for the Curly. And right here on the left, that's actually the Manticore Soul. And right above us is the Devil Soul. So you need to transform into either of those uh, in order to get past this waterfall. So we're not going back there. Uh, I guess uh, using High Potion would be helpful in this area. So let's go! this is the forbidden area now this area is the only area in the game that has no boss battles but we are here to get the most powerful weapon in the game well not technically powerful in terms of attack but definitely the best weapon you can pick up here in the story mode There are other areas that uh, can actually, there are other game modes that actually have like a better uh, weapons, but I'll show that after completing the main storyline. So anyway, I'm going to change my soul set here and change it into Killer Mantle. So you can see this big flower right here, and that's actually an enemy. So the Allura Oon. Using the Killer Mantle is a very effective against her. Now the, the Killer Mantle is actually a soul that you can get uh, a bit later. So I guess I... Technically was cheating for a little bit, so I'm sorry about that. I guess I'm gonna have to change uh, from Undini to Skula. Stay away from the Dryad's fruit bombs. Ooh, that was close. down here now you can see there is a wall right here but we can break it and now we have the claim solace Actually, I did some research on how to actually pronounce that, so the claim solace is actually Celtic in origin. 
So if you, if you probably speak Gaelic, you'd be able to pronounce that well. I, I do know that the uh, claim Solace is uh, not the correct pronunciation. So we're going to the equip page and then boom, best weapon in the game. So we're going to use this sword from this point on and look at all the damage we're dealing now. Now we're still not done yet in this part so we're going down here. There are two Kanyatsos here. I do believe it's spell, uh, pronounced as Kanyatso, like an Italian GN, you know, like lasagna. So we just beat a flame demon. Now his soul is going to be very important. There are two flame demons in this area, so we just beat one of them. The Claim Solace is very effective against uh, the Flame Demon because they're weak against the Light Element, which of course is the Sword's Element. That's why we're owning now. Many of the enemies are weak against Light. Ooh, nice Mudman Soul. So there we go. This is the second Flame Demon. That treasure box was actually filled with monsters. So here, we also have another obtainable weapon and there's a Mimic. So the Mimic can be found in two areas of the game. Now, we have an area here and there's another one much much later on like final boss area later on so you can farm the mimic soul and it's actually going to be very useful for making money which i can show you in a later video really use the Aaron is so here but uh, ow. Uh, I do need the school of soul just to traverse the area see, see? we need that school of soul we can, uh, yeah, we just grew to level 38. Now we're going back up. So we're done with this part, we're done with this area, and now these dryads won't be a problem anymore because you can swipe off those fruits before they can even hit you. This is one of the reasons why I love Thames Away so much. Nah, I'm not bothering with that allure. <laughs> 
So we've come back to this area and now we're going back up actually. We could, uh, I choose not to go back through the waterfalls. And we're going back to an old area in the game. So now we're in the study area once again. So we just pick up a book. So, I am going to go to the item area. So, one, uh, so, you can see here the ancient book says, The first spirit is a demon from hellfires. And what it's referring to is the soul of the flame demon. So, I guess I could change my soul to flame demon. We already have that. Wait, where was it? Skeleton, skull, million, demon. Ah, there we go. So burns enemies to a crisp with its ultra hot flames. So this is the flame demon soul. So we're going to keep that on. It will be very useful back in the underground reservoir. However, I am going to save the game first. And we're going to end this video right here. So typically I would uh, play the game to, you know, until I, I defeat the boss. But this uh, video is more of uh, obtaining the claim solace more than anything. So, yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to no- don't- uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So anyways, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget the notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you on the next Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. I'm gonna keep this video really, so no cuts, no redos. This is what's going up on the channel. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!